Hey guys, how you all doing? So the Valorant update just got released and with that came the brand new ranked mode. And in today's video I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to rank up faster and get you in the good ranks right away. I have prepared 8 really nice topics to talk about and these topics will definitely help you rank up if you follow all of them. And yeah, without further ado, enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. The first tip I want to talk about will be warming up. You should always warm up before playing a competitive game. And yeah, this is just to get your aim going, get your movement going a little bit. And yeah, just get your hands warm and ready. And I even suggest playing an unranked match before playing ranked if you have the time for it. And yeah, always warm up for your matches and you will not choke as much. The second tip I have for you is to train your aim and have a good sensitivity that's custom made for you. If you want to find out how to do that, I will link a video right now in the top right and you can check it out. It's a 3 minute guide, it's really quick and yeah, it covers everything with aim and sensitivity. You should spend at least 20 minutes a day training your aim if you want to become better. And that's just because aiming is the most important factor by far in Valorant and this is definitely the most important quality to train. The third tip I have is that you should adjust your crosshair and your in-game settings. If you want to know the best competitive settings and the best crosshair settings for competitive, I will link a video in the top right right now and you can check that out. Oh, Tip no. number 4 is having a pre-made team. Before starting a game you should always have a team ready and you should never queue up with randoms. This just makes it so much easier to communicate and you will never get any trolls. This brings me to the next tip which will be knowing your callouts. It is so much of an advantage to know your callouts because you will just instantly know where the enemies are if the teammates call them. And same way if you call them, your teammates will instantly know where they are and they could most likely get a refrag. It always depends on the situation. Oh if you want to learn the callouts, you can either just press M or there are a bunch of callout videos on YouTube which you can just watch. And if you play a lot, you will learn them over time anyways, but uh, this just helps speed up the process a bit. Tip number 6 will be maining an agent. You should main an agent because there are so many different ways to play each agent and maining one just helps you really master them and play to your best. For example with Viper you can learn general smokes and attacking strategies and Sova for example you can learn different types of recon bolts or shock darts. And yeah, it just really gets the gameplay to the next level if you really focus on one champ. And that concludes tip number 6. Tip number 7 will be map knowledge. You should know different types of tricks on each map. Those could be for example wall banks or different really nice peaking spots. This just goes hand in hand with maining an agent because you can use your agent's abilities to your advantage and basically get like one way peaks or whatever you practice basically. And my last tip will be that you should have good hardware. You should play it on 144Hz, this is just so much of an advantage over 60Hz. You should have a mouse with a really good sensor and your PC should be decent as well.